Okay, here's some notes for page 474, 18 through 21. You're given that each pair of polygons is similar, and then you have to find the value of x, okay? Notice that we have corresponding angles a, or, uh, B and S, and C and T are corresponding. So that means 4 over 6, okay, BC over ST is equal to CD over T um, U. And just like that, we have a problem from the day before, solving a proportion. Okay, so we're going to cross multiply. You get 6 times 6 equals 4 times x plus 7. 36 equals 4x plus 28. Subtract 28 from both sides. You get 8 equals 4x. Divide both sides by 2 and then x equals 2. Okay. And that makes sense because 4 over 6 is 2 thirds. And then 6 over 2 plus 7, that is 6 ninths. 6 ninths also reduces to 2 thirds. Okay, look at this one. Okay, you're given that they are similar. You got to find the value of x. So if you look at the angles here, d corresponds to u. C corresponds to T, so that means that S and B are going to correspond. Okay, so that means that AB over RS, 6 over 10, is equal to, okay, small over big, is equal to X plus 2.6. over x plus 9. Okay. Cross multiply. 6 times x plus 9 is equal to 10 times x plus 2.6. Distribute 6x plus 54 equals 10x plus 26. Okay, I'm going to bring my work up to here. We have 6x plus 54 equals 10x plus 26. I'm going to subtract 26 from both sides. 6x, okay, 20, 24 minus 26 is, or 54 minus 26 is 28. Subtract 6x from both sides. 28 equals... 4x, divide both sides by 4, 7 is equal to x. Okay, so that means that st, this is, is equal to 16, and this is equal to 9.6. So, a way to check to make sure is 6 over 10 equal to, 6 over 10 equal to 9.6 over 16. Okay, put that in your calculator. 9.6 divided by 16. You get 0.6, and if you were to do 6 divided by 10, you would also get 0.6. So we know we got it right.